Hey guys, welcome to our channel. My name is Michael, and on this channel we talk about entrepreneurship, we talk about financial literacy for kids, positive affirmation, and also give tips and tricks how to grow your 360 photo booth business. If that's something you're interested in, hit that like, subscribe, and the notification bell, and stay tuned. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an overlay in Canva, set up an event on TouchPick, and also add music to that event. Let's go. So this was the overlay that I did for the last event that I just did. And simple and quick, the customer didn't want it too crazy. He was celebrating his 50th, and I didn't have to do it in Photoshop. So my alternative is always to go to Canva if I don't have to do it in Photoshop, if it's nothing complex. So I just went in Canva and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do that. And then also make sure that you always add your social media handle on your overlay or your logo so that people can find your business shop because they require a little bit more work dealing with pictures than um, you can do in Canva sometimes. Sometimes when you even remove the background in Canva, it's not always perfect. So sometimes you gotta go in Photoshop. But if you don't have um, Photoshop subscription, you can always use Photop, which is a free, free web-based alternative to Photoshop all the features zoom tools and magic wand and all that you can use that for free if you don't know how to use photoshop you can always look up a youtube tutorial just to help you normally use the um slow-mo overlay i think template 5 which is like the 1072 by 1920 which give you a nice portrait vertical video with that vertical video it's easy for like instagram short TikTok um ig so it's perfect for those platforms so i normally do that um dimensions and with the pro version you're able to resize to whatever format you want if you want a square video you want like, for your um overlay a template see if i see anything that i like and you see nothing that jumped out that i wanted to use so you go to elements then uh, found a nice 50 that I liked. So then I was like, okay, I like how they're looking 3D, looking 50. So I'm like, all right, boom. Let's use this 50. Okay, yeah, gold champagne, cause the, the color of the party, the theme was black and gold. The event was black and gold, so, you know, match the color theme sometimes when you do the overlay you want to go for the same color also when you um create an overlay you want to go for the colors of the event most of the times fun little champagne you know we celebrating celebrating his 50th celebrating life now i'm gonna add a little text happy birthday or David's birthday. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna add the David 50th birthday. Then I'm gonna change the color and the font. I like to use um, pinion script sometimes. Then I'm gonna change the color to gold since it's a black and gold theme. See which one I like. Then all right, I'm gonna resize it, make it a little bigger. Okay, boom. Now I'm gonna center it. And once you get it to where you like it, I was looking on the overlay, then you can always resize it, move it over a little bit. There we go. Resize it. All right. That's looking good. All right, I like that. There we go. Oh, there we go. That's better. And now I added the, um, that's better. And now I added the um, gold balloon. I'm gonna put the little gold circle. I'm gonna add the happy birthday to it. Okay, 
yeah, right there in the corner, top. Then add my text, my happy birthday text. I'm gonna change the font. I'm not gonna use script for the happy birthday. I'm gonna use, let's see, which one did I use? There we go. Oh. Railway. Add that. Change the color. Black. I'm gonna move it up and then put it on the, the gold background of the balloon. Or the gold circle, I should say. Now I'm gonna add the gold crown and make sure that I line it up and resize that. And then we're gonna go from there and download it. There we go. I forgot to add my social media like I did in the original one because I want to keep this video short, make it quick. So now we're gonna go to Touch Pick and I'm gonna show you how to create an event in Touch Pick real quick. Now I'm gonna download this overlay as a PNG file. So then now the only thing we're gonna see is just the design that we created and everything in the background will be gone. Seeing it is gonna be missing. And on touch pick, there's more than one way to create an event. I'm gonna show you um, more than one way that you can do it. Once we log on to touch pick, we're gonna um, go to the create event tab. Then we're gonna um, create event from custom event that we're gonna name our event. So the event's gonna be demo, countries the United States, countdown, and I'm gonna leave it at five seconds. Beep sound so I can hear when the camera start beeping, use the rear camera, no printing, because this is Digital, take off photo, boomerang, GIF, videos. We do a slow mo. Recording time, I normally have it at six seconds. So by the time the music is added and the overlay and everything, you get like a 20 to 30 second video. At any time, at three seconds, sharing three seconds, thanks, three seconds, zero seconds for the props. I leave all the sharing method. And then I type my name for the email subject. Default message, replace it with your info. Let me add for the text message. Do the web gallery also. face props, you put your company name. Now we're gonna choose your logo. Add your logo to all of them. Branding is important. Enable motion trigger. External screens if you're using a TV. Okay. Good to go. Submit. Now we're gonna activate the event. Or now we go to the designer. You can go to the designer. 
MC. We're gonna use template. Video portrait one, there you go. Use that template. Manage design, overlay. Go up, upload from my computer. Hit the upload. Okay, we want, there you go. The overlay we just created. David demo. Uploaded. Click on overlay. That's the last event. There we go. That's the right one. Just like that. Position it. There we go. Save to event. Boom. Now overlay is added to our event. We'll return back to touch pick. Now after we can go to overlay. There we go. See a preview of overlay. That means it was added. So we know that it's good. Oh, overlay was uploaded successfully. Now we're gonna search for our music to add to the event. Whatever music they ask. I'm gonna use this Drake and Popcorn song. So I'm gonna just copy the link. And we're gonna get a free YouTube downloader. Use ytmp3.new. Copy the link, drop it in your YouTube converter, mp3. Then we're gonna download our songs. Once we download the song, now we're gonna add it to the event. Now we're going to add this song. Pause it. There we go. Now we're going to right click on the song, get info, go to options, and we just need 30 seconds clip of the song. There we go. Now, once I play that, can't hear it yet. Okay. I listen to it. I'm fine with that 30 seconds. And okay, I'm gonna use that piece of the song. So then I'm gonna go to file. Then I'm gonna convert, create an ACC version. Now, once it's done, I'm gonna put it on my desktop. Rename the file, change the M4A to MP3. I'm gonna say, Yep, I'm gonna use the MP3. Now we're gonna go back to touch pick.
Now we're gonna go back to the event. You go on the events on your dashboard. Click on it, manage, edit. Then we're gonna go down and right there where you see add audio file. We're gonna add the MP3 right there. I'm gonna go back down. Hit I, hit I agree again and submit. And now the song is added to our event. I'm gonna activate the event by scanning the QR code. And after I scan the QR code, I'm gonna show you. The event, and you can also go underneath the design and legacy tab. Under that, you'll find the specs for the overlays. You see the template. So I'm using template slow-mo number five. That's one of my favorites to use unless a client requests something else. But I've been using um, slow-mo template number five. Then you go into upload. This is where you normally put your overlay and you see the specs. It gives you the specs for touch picks um, for the overlay design. So then now I'm gonna add the overlay. If you look right here, you see template one portrait is 1072 by 1440. Then template two is a square overlay. So it's 1072 by 1072. Template three is a landscape 1440 times 1072. And then the landscape long is 1920 by 1072. And then my favorite is the template five portrait 1072 by 1920. So after that, I'm gonna um, hit browse. Then to go upload the overlay that we just created. Then you're gonna see it on the left. That's how you know that your overlay is uploaded. Then after that, you can um, click it. We go add the temp, add the template. I'll tell you template added, and we see it right there. Then you can also go to your account settings. Yep. After you check the demo, you go to the dashboard and then you check your events. Then you can activate the event after that QR code on your phone. And once you scan the QR code with your phone or your iPad, whichever device you're using, then you activate. Then your event is activated.